Hey, everybody. Um, I've been asked this question a few times, and especially in messages and um, stuff like that. Um, they're wanting to know why I do so many videos focused on gathering food. You know, uh, they want to know why I don't do, like, videos on shelter or getting water. Uh, number one, you can get on YouTube and find thousands upon thousands upon thousands of ways to build a shelter. From using plain sticks and leaves to tarps to garbage bags to whatever. I mean, you can find it. Um, just about the same on, you know, water. You know, you could two ways of getting water. Boiling it. Well, there's three, four ways, but like boiling it, uh, catching rainwater, um, using water filter, water pen, um, um, water, um, fell right out of my head. Purification pills, um, you know, but, and everybody says, oh, you, you need water. You can go without water three days, then you're you're in trouble, and you can last longer without food. Yeah, that's true. But when you go without food for three or four days, your body starts eating at itself. You get weaker, and the only thing you want to do is just lay around. You don't have energy, so food is very important, and. Um, you know, I can hear guys saying, well, I've got such and such amount of food in my bug out bag. You know, I can last three or four days. Okay. What happens if something was to happen and you grab your bug out bag with three days worth of food and it takes you two days to get to your bug out location? Well, on that second day... Say there's a bridge you got to cross. Well, you can't cross that bridge because A, the bridge ain't there no more. Or B, there's marauders charging people, you know, looting and robbing people trying to get across the bridge. So therefore, you got to take an alternate route to your destination. Now that alternate route might take you, it might take you another three days to get to your bug out lo location by taking an alternate route. Okay. You got one day um, food left. There's two days you're going to go hungry. Walking with a pack on through whatever terrain you got to go through you're going to be tired. You're going to be hungry. You're going to start getting weak because you're not going to have the calories. Food is a very very important in any survival situation. You know, now you can watch all kinds of TV shows and, you know, they can eat one little fish and they got energy for two or three days. That's... That's fake. That's BS. That's not reality. You know. You need food. Now there's probably guys on here saying, Oh, I can go three or four days without eating. You know, I fast. Okay, that's fine when you fast. You're not out with 40 or 50 pound pack on your back walking through woods or through snow or through rain or, or you know, the environment, sleeping on cold ground, you know, walking 10 hours a day. Totally different when you're sitting at home fasting than being out in the woods actually doing something. So that is why I post a lot of videos on, um, you know, snaring, fishing, different ways of, you know, fishing, you know, like uh, making little um, 
fishing tins and snaring tins. Um, you know, if I could get away with it, I would have like two or three... 330 body traps and a couple of 220s and probably four or five 110s or 120 body traps in my bug out bag. But right there, you're talking 30 or 40 extra pounds. Now, that's good to have at your bug out location that you've already put there. So that way, when you get there, you can trap, use those as trapping as long, you know, along with your your snares and your fishing but um, food is very very important and that's why I you know do the different type of snare videos and the fishing tin videos or combining them you know you always want a way to get you something to eat now there's guys gonna say well I'll just throw a fish and make a fishing pole and throw it out there and yeah you can do that while you should, you can be sitting there fishing. While you should be getting you firewood or reinforcing your shelter or boiling water, you know, gathering water, filling your canteens up. You know, there's all kinds of other stuff you could be doing instead of sitting there fishing. So that's why I say let the equipment work for you, like the snares. Set the snares, let them work. Set fishing lines, let them work for you while you can do other stuff. You know, making a better um, shelter, gathering your firewood. You know, while you're doing that, and if it's in season, go gather berries or nuts or something like that. So that'd be an easy on the go food. You know, and um, there's, there's just a bunch of reasons to. To carry, you know, ways to get food. You know, there's a lot of guys that, go, oh, my get home bag, my 72 hour get home bag. What happens if it takes you longer than 72 hours to get home? You're going to be screwed. You know, those, those power bars and those granola bars and whatever you got in there, it's going to run out. You know, you might think it might take you 72 hours to get home, but what happens if it takes you seven days to get home? Nobody thinks about that. They just think, oh, 72 hour bag, man, three days, so I'm going to get to where I'm going. It, 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 it don't work that way in a, you know, SHTF situation. That don't run on a time limit. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. It's going to be long. And if you don't have the food, you're going to become weak. You're going to become slow. And if somebody was chasing you or you had to outrun marauders or looters or gangs or whatever, you're going to be screwed because you ain't going to have the energy to, to do it. So... Always, always pack, you know, extra ways to get food, you know. Like I said, you can get on YouTube and you can find thousands of ways of setting up a shelter. Thousands of ways of getting water. But there's very few videos on how to get food because I don't, I don't know why people don't think food is very important just because... Oh, three days without water, three weeks without food. Hell, I'm hungry if I go a full day. If I miss breakfast and lunch and I'm out there working, I can feel it on me. You know, you get, you start getting weak. You start getting sluggish. You start getting, you're more tired. And, um, and if you eat well, you get to sleep better. You get better rest. If you go to bed hungry, when you're on maneuvers, there's sometimes you didn't eat for two or three days and you felt it bad. I mean, you felt it. You were tired. You were sluggish. You wasn't as alert. You know, 
even your equilibrium was all kind of screwy from lack of food. So I put food right up there. Just it's tied with water to, in my opinion. But that's the reason I do a lot of like fishing tins and, and snaring tins and stuff like that. That's why I stress food because it is very important. Like I said, a 72-hour bag don't mean you're going to get home in 72 hours. It could be seven days before you get home. So just think about that while you're packing your bag and these other guys are saying, oh, you just need a couple of granola bars and you'll be fine in three days. Because it's just going to take you three days to get home. Really? Do they have a crystal ball? Yeah. What happens if you're caught out in the middle of a, a blizzard comes through and your car's stuck and you have to hike out of a blizzard? You ain't going to move very fast in cold, you know, two or three foot snow blizzard. Yeah, it's going to take you a long time to move. And while you're moving through all that, you're burning calories up like crazy. But um, just something for you guys to think about. You know, I, I don't claim to be an expert, and I'm not no expert by any means. But I'm just using life experience in my views and my opinion. So you guys can take it and or leave it. I mean, it's entirely up to you. You know, I make these videos to help people. And if you want to take it, that's cool. If you don't want to take it, that's cool. That's up to you. But um, me, I, me and my family, we are going to stay fed. We're not going to go hungry. So everybody have a good night and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.